Welcome everyone to the first ever Morning Live. Today we're talking face coverings and more specifically what is lurking behind yours. So good morning, hello and thank you for joining us on the first ever Morning Live. Yes, every morning for the next eight weeks we will be here to get your thoughts on the things that matter most to you. And the clocks have just gone back and in about 25 minutes world leading scientist Professor Matthew Walker reveals the shocking damage a lack of sleep can have on our brains and bodies. Craig Revel Horde will be here a bit later on. It was great, wasn't it? Oh, it was smiling yeah. everyone's face strictly on Saturday yeah. night, I think. And what's a non-essential item? Yeah. Well, you go online, I suppose. That's what you do next. Isn't yeah, it? which then is, is is causing trouble for shops. Chatting to supermarkets today, aren't they? And we'll yes. get more about the extra level of restrictions. This tier four. Matt mm. Hancock just said on breakfast. Yeah, you know, I think this is going to have a big impact on people's mental health. It already is. These struggles with not seeing a family, not being able to go out, potter around, do the things that they do her and dad you know i think it's going to have a, a massive impact if we're now you know stepping up the restriction we talked about wales scotland have got these extra levels as well and if we go into tier four is that is that basically the end of a, a social life i suppose and it's really difficult not being able to get home to see mum and dad in wales at the yeah. moment to give them a hand with everything yeah but that's really tricky course, as well yeah, absolutely i mean i i have concerns over my grandson and i can't imagine not being able to see him never get you know. used to you saying you've got a grandchild <laughs> <laughs> amazing, isn't it? Um, so we'll chat more in just a bit. Uh, now, I've got used to wearing face coverings, but how good are we at washing them? A recent YouGov poll suggested that only one in ten of us we don't wash them properly or don't wash them at all. Sabrina Grant has been investigating. My mask is going to get a jolly good pummeling to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you now. Because um, it hasn't had one yet. No, but mine's always full of makeup. It is. It's disgusting. It is. Yeah. It's disgusting it is. What, what, what do you mean by this? Thing? I had <laughs> pencil shavings. <laughs> don't ask me about yeah. that. But, but, like, surely, if, if, if we don't wash our mask at all... poses no risk. We're wearing the masks to protect other people. In the people. Bugs, though, actually, uh, well, it was quite surprising what you found in yeah. that film, wasn't it, about like um, how you get rid of them. If you're lucky enough to own that home, there could be a silver lining, because house prices are rocketing across the UK. Scotland, um, we morning, just... Good morning, guys. Good morning. We just mentioned uh, rocketing house prices. Now, what's behind that? And it's not all about upsizing. Some people want to downsize and just get their forever home. At the moment, does it make a difference as to which country you're in? I'm, I'm not sure you want to view a property online. I always think um, I want to see it. Wouldn't yeah, you, you do, because pictures can be deceiving. Listen, how long is this going to last then? Is, is, is this going to be long term or are we going to see a, a bit of a crash? Um, to, take it, uh, to take it beyond the 31st of March, so people are still time on hammer. People come through the door. Government has, has vowed to back local authorities, to back you. Um, you can also be getting in touch with your local MPs. I know so many people are struggling with that at the moment. Thank you, Martel. Yeah, thank you, Martel. Thanks for joining us. And Homes Under the Hammer is on right after us. Sleep is just fascinating, isn't it? I suppose you wouldn't have been surprised, Dr Zan. Get the idea that there is not a single part of I, your I'm, body. I'm a terrible sleeper. Terrible sleeper. Good that. So, <laughs> and no, but I, I, like, I've been to the doctors about it because I wake a lot. I'm told it's my age every time I go. I like well, actually, it got so bad for me during lockdown, I decided it was a good time to actually try and do something about it. No, I get to sleep fine. It's the stay in a right. sleep I can't do. So I think we should get this sleep expert on and have a chat. And I went through a weird you? phase of dream texting. Well, that's a whole other story. Yeah. A dream text, I'm going to be quite offended. <laughs> <laughs> Some people who definitely wouldn't have slept soundly this weekend were the latest celebs to appear on Strictly. It was so good to have Strictly back and so good to have Craig. Oh. It looks nothing like the one show, that's what I'm amazed <laughs> about. <laughs> I mean, did, Week one. Did it affect you? Think about the dancers and how it might affect them, but for you yeah. as the judges, because you very often get booed. The show and, and you see the build-up to it and you think, yeah. who's going to surprise you? Was if I didn't do that. And that was when I was transitioning from be, uh, being a dancer. It shocked me, actually. Uh, you told our researcher that you... Uh, all computer. Ah. And you've got... It's all touch screen. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we've got some viewers viewers. We certainly have lots of comments. Now. Is Dr Zan there? He's, he's gone home. Uh, this is an interesting one. Um, a yeah. lot of reaction to that film, by the way. Uh, and just to clarify, we were testing for bacteria, not for COVID, with those masks in the film. Um, I'm going to watch them all the time now. They are actually in my machine right now. <laughs> Two's back tonight, 6.30pm with Zoe Ball. Make sure uh, you see that. Big thank you. Yes. Thanks, yes. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>